Now here's a question for you. Why does a helium balloon like these float up into the air, whereas a regular balloon made of the same rubber filled with air sinks? And the same question applies to a hot air balloon. Why exactly does it float up in the sky? Well, the reason that's always given for this, and the most basic reason, is you're taught that the density of helium, the gas called helium, is actually lower than the density of the air. And you're taught in science that when you have the density of a gas lower than the surrounding gas, it tends to float. But seriously, that doesn't really drive down to the fundamental reason. That's just a rule I'm giving you. Why is it that density of gases in kilogram per cubic meter, when it's less than the surrounding gas, why does that actually make it float? Where does the force come from? And it's the same exact thing for a hot air balloon. The air inside of this balloon is heated. So when things get heated, they tend to expand. So they have a lower density. So the same thing, when you heat this air, the density of the air inside that balloon is less than the density of the air just surrounding the balloon. Again, providing an upward force. But why does that happen? So we can go one level deeper. You're also taught, when you get into physics class, that the buoyant force that happens on this object in a, a surrounding fluid of air is an upward force. And that upward force is equal to the weight of the air that is displaced by this volume. So this balloon has a certain volume. It is pushing the surrounding air out of this space where the balloon is. And the weight of the air that is pushed out of the way, uh, out of the way is actually equal to the upward force on this balloon. It's called the buoyant force. It's the same force you feel when you go swimming and you go underwater. You feel lighter because you're displacing the water and the weight of the water that is actually being displaced is equal to the upward force there. So the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the fluid that is displaced. But again, why? That doesn't explain anything. Let's talk about why. Here's the reason why. We live in this fluid called the atmosphere. It extends for hundreds of miles above us. And the atmosphere has a weight to it, all gases do. And they're pushing down toward the ground. So there's like a column of air with a weight. And on the top of this balloon is closer to space than the bottom of this balloon. So the weight of the atmosphere at the top here is slightly different than the weight of the atmosphere at the bottom because there's more air from the bottom all the way up into space. So basically there's a pressure difference from the top to the bottom of the balloon because the amount of atmosphere all the way up to space is different. And that difference in pressure pushes up on the bottom of the balloon and that's where the buoyant force comes from. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.